In today's experiment, we're going to be using a hydrochloric acid, which is, can be also be called HCl. Now, our concentration of hydrochloric acid is 0.2. So it means, with that said, you're going to be determining the concentration of the water sample, right? So we all know that when we are determining the concentration of a sample, it means we use, uh, it goes into the conical flask, right? So that means whatever that you are not determining would be going into the burette. Our faculty offers diverse programs that address the national needs of Botswana. That is a Bachelor of Engineering Honours in Electrical Engineering, a Bachelor of Science Honours in Network Security and Computer Forensics, a BSc in Data Science and a Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity and Risk Management. In this video, we'll be talking about the Department of Applied Sciences, which is a service department that offers basic science modules that are physics, mathematics and chemistry. We offer these modules to the Faculty of Engineering and the whole school at large because as a scientist or an engineer you need a strong foundation in basic sciences to be able to address problems using the engineering or scientific concepts. Our module is only offered to electrical engineering students. Um, mostly if you look at it, electrical engineering students use some concepts from chemistry. If you look at it, well, there are to topics like uh, resistors, inductors and transformers which are part of chemistry in a sense that we are talking about electron movement and with electron movement it causes the flow of, of current in objects so it's very important that these students are taught some basics in chemistry now our module is offered to first year students and our module has two sides we have the theory side and we have the practical side so basically this means that whatever you are taught in the theory class um, we can put into practice in the lab Engineering is basically physics applied to make something more practical. It can either be electrical, civil, mechanical and many more, but they are all governed by physics. There is no way you can solve complex engineering problems without understanding the physics behind it. In general, physics provides adequate knowledge needed for future technological advances. This department provides engineering physics course to all first years. The lecturers are well resourced with the material that's provided to us as students. We study in conducive environments which encourage social skills for us as students. I would encourage other people to come to Bhutu University because it takes into the interest of us as students. Mathematics is the cornerstone of engineering. For example, calculus, differential equation, linear algebra and probability are typically included in the electrical engineering program. Moreover, the Z-transform and the Fourier analysis are also part of the electrical engineering program. This is why mathematics is very much important in all the engineering courses. But university has various courses to choose from. So I urge you to try about university and see how far we can go with you. My experience in Bhutan University has been rather exquisite. But if you had asked me this very same question a year ago, like in my first semester, I would probably have given you a different, uh, different answer because I had to worry about my tuition fees. Most of my lectures noticed that I was not performing well in class, but I had the potential to. So they sat down with me and asked me what I was really going. So I shared my problem with them in the student council. What they did is they, they recommended me to go to the right places and I had to like find help and see how the school can do for me. The school was willing to sponsor me and I was very grateful for that. 